Um, oh, you wanna, oh, he jumped! Hey guys, and welcome to a very special video because today we are welcoming a new member to our family, my first ever pet arachnid, a regal jumping spider. So yes, we have a jumping spider. She is a regal jumping spider. We believe she's female and um, around almost four months old, she hatched out in February. Um, the reason I decided to get one of these, like this species in particular as my first arachnid is I read a lot that this species is quite easy to look after, very good for beginners. It's also the largest, I believe, uh, jumping spider in North America. So I didn't want something that was too small that I couldn't handle or I'd be so scared of handling because I've never handled one of these before. Also I kind of wanted a female because I prefer the female colouring and I also already had a name chosen. So I have chosen to call her Betty Sue and this is one of the little signs we have at our Etsy shop. We also have a feeding platform and a little hide. They're both magnetic. Um, as I said, they're on our Etsy shop, uh, The Bearded Shrimp. I design a lot of stuff for jumping spiders because I've wanted one for the longest time. Um, so it'd be really cool to see how she interacts with this once she's a little bit bigger. Now, Betty the spider, as well as these little bits, look at that, as well as the enclosures and the food and substrate and decor all came from Spoodiness, that's spoodiness.com. Maria has been incredibly helpful. I know she's quite well known, especially amongst UK jumping spider owners, um, and she is very well versed with this species, so I'm getting plenty of advice on her website though she has loads of care guides so I will link them below if you want to check them out if you're interested in getting a spider yourself. So this is a food she is on now I don't own anything that eats flies um like if you had dart frogs you're probably used to this so this is all going to be very new to me but she is on fruit flies at the moment and then she will move up to green bottles and we have some flies in here and some pupa i think i'm going to have to put these in the fridge just so they um, don't pupate too quickly and don't die off um i'm gonna have to warn my boyfriend about this now before we get Betty out, I do want to look at the enclosures because Maria has actually sent me two different types. One she can move in um, in a few days time and one she'll eventually grow into. So this is the first one, this is a smaller one. If we lift this up, the door will open. So this is what she'll probably move into next. Um, I am going to leave her in her little tube uh, for just a few days so she can settle because obviously she's been in the post. But um, this is all designed and like laser cut by Maria. Um, if you follow her on Instagram, you'll see it all. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, lots of ventilation, which is great because this species prefers drier conditions. Of course, they need to be sprayed down a little bit to drink. And you can do bioactive tanks um, for them. But ventilation is key because we do not want them exposed to too much humidity. And this is the large of the two enclosures. So this is eventually what she will move into when she's fully grown. Same like the other one that lifts up, that opens. The good thing is when I was looking at different enclosures, there's a lot where they open from the top. But if you know jumping spiders, you know they form a lot of webs around the top. So you would destroy the web every time you open it. So it's nice to have that. What I do really wanna do, okay, cause I've been designing these jumping spider things on Etsy for a while. And I'm curious to see how they attach and how they look in the tanks because we finally have a jumping spider. Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's kind of cool. When you've been creating stuff for a while and you can actually see it in the enclosure. Sorry, this is just for me. I'm just excited about this. Along with the enclosure, I did get a misting bottle. This is a really fine mist, and this is actually from Ikea. It was only four pounds, and it is the size of the enclosure. <laughs> um, but uh, the spider will just need a little drink, so um, that's what we'll do. And we obviously don't want the droplets to be very big, and this is a fine mist, so that's good. Now, Maria did also send me some cork bits, some fake plants, and some substrate. I have been told if you're a beginner, it's good to keep things simple. It's very tempting to go full-blown bioactive. I mean, maybe in the larger enclosure where I have more time, I might stick down like a cork background and put a bit more like effort into it. But since this will be her like first proper enclosure of me, I'm gonna keep things simple.
Now for the bit I'm sure you've all been waiting for to actually meet her. Now I've never actually handled a jumping spider before, apart from a zebra jumping spider in the garden who actually jumped on me rather than me picking it up. Um, but other than that, I've never held one. So here we go. Oh my God, it doesn't help. I've got like shaky hands right now. Okay. I'm not scared, I'm just an anxious person, so I just shake a lot. Oh, got a web. Okay. I have the shakiest hands, oh my god. What? <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh my god, I'm so sorry that my hands are so shaky. Why is this it's so adorable? <gasps> You're looking at me. It's hard to see because obviously she's got her back to you, but she's watching me and she has the cutest eyes. So I'm gonna try to take some really cute pictures of her so you can get a better view of her face. Oh, she's so adorable. So I'm gonna probably pop her back in her tube now and in a few days time, move her into her new enclosure. Um, so if I do do that first week with a jumping spider, you'll see it in that video. So, oh my God, she's cleaning her eyeballs. I swear she was just cleaning her eyeballs. I'm also gonna try to get some cute photos of her so you can see her face a bit better. But thank you so much to Spoodernest for sending me her. Seriously, if you are interested in regal jumping spiders um, or just a jumping spider enclosure or anything like that or you need jumping spider food, uh, check her out, spoodernest.com. And also, as I said, the care sheets are really helpful. And uh, if you wanna see how she gets on in her new enclosure, be sure to subscribe and try to document my journey with a jumping spider since this is my first ever one. But thank you for watching guys and goodbye.